so finally my store is launched i know it's been something that i've been planning for over a year and a half almost a year and a half and it's finally out and i am finally an entrepreneur <laughs> it feels like a dream right now in today's video i wanted to show you the life of a small business owner i am the only person who is working for the Uh, business i don't have anybody else helping me out with this at all it's a one woman show basically i wanted to take you around what the activity is like uh, right now it won't be about me making the scrunchies as such because i already have a couple of them made and out in the store it's more of how my shipping packing and everything happens so it's been around 3 4 days since the launch and i have around 12 orders to send out the thing is it's all new to me i'm doing all of this for the first time i've never done anything like this before but i'm so excited too because you only have your first uh, you know experience once and this is my first ever experience of shipping my products out so i want to take you through my entire process what i'm planning to do and the steps that i'm going to be taking to ship everything and all that so let's go so these are all the cardboard boxes that i'd been holding and saving for over a year now and i'll be using them to pack my orders for this time and this is the shredded paper that i used to receive in pr packaging that I again plan to reuse. I get a lot of this every now and then. So now, let's start packing everything into their own boxes. So I just found out that I had two orders to send out which had like one product in it and <laughs> like i couldn't find tiny cartons and i've just realized while i was shipping that the price for shipping increases based on the size of the cartons so if i'm sending like one product in a big carton that's a huge amount that's going to go and but i couldn't find any tiny ones so i'm like what do i do I've just ordered a few others but it's not going to come soon so I'm just thinking what to do now. <sighs> These are all the other cartons that I have. But they're all bigger in size so this is my bed under which so many cartons have been stored. There are so many. So so many. So I got like smaller bubbles, so I can send the ones which have like one. So yeah, I'm safe. So I just finished uh, putting every item into its packaging. Now the next thing is for me to be able to download the labels. So the labels are the printouts that I need to post on the package so that the uh, shipping company can 
you know deliver it properly it has the qr code and everything so it's not something that i can just you know write in a paper and give it i don't have a printer as of now i am planning to get a second hand printer but right now i don't have a pl- printer so i need to like uh, send it to printer so i generally use printer for most of my printing purposes and i will receive the print tomorrow morning so i'll have to do that first thing in the morning and then ship it so this is what i've done if you can see i've put like two pages into one a4 so this is basically the print out so since i've already put the labels for printing and everything now the next step for me is to write a personal note to everybody who purchases from me because it means a lot this is my first ever batch of shipping my products so it means so much to me so so much to me so i'm going to write really personal notes for everybody so yeah that's the next step so these were uh, recycled papers so i have about a bunch of eco size uh, sheets of recycled paper and i cut it into small pieces so yeah it is this into which i'm going to be writing for each person Did I tell you that I actually got a customized logo stamp for our store? This is the stamp. I know it doesn't look like anything right now, but here. This is our customized stamp. This was around 450 bucks because it's 1 inch by 1 inch. Yay, now we need to stamp this onto the notes. So it's 25th and uh, I've finished writing all the notes yesterday itself and uh, I've also scheduled the pickup for my printouts from Printo. Once that arrives, I'll need to packing things properly. I'll need to keep everything inside the cartons and then seal it and put the labels on it so that it's ready for pickup by the shipping companies which is happening today. So all the pickup is going to be happening today. And I'm so excited because it's my first ever shipment for my business. So <sighs> let's see how it goes. So now we're going to be putting all the notes into each of the packages. I think that's going to take like 10 minutes or so and then we need to start sealing things up. So now I've finished putting all the notes into each package but now I'm going to take a little extra step because I think that works towards my motto so I'm going to write in all the cartons to remind them to reuse the cartons if possible the fact that aesthetic is not more important than usability and reusing so that you know it reminds people to try and reuse it and not just simply dispose it hopefully somebody else may reuse it like i did and that same cardboard box may go on to be used for a way longer period because sometimes i feel people just need a little reminder and i hope to do it by writing it down and making it obvious okay so I think that's going to take me another 10 15 minutes and then we'll start sealing up. So 
so that is also done the writing part is done again let me just say that it was not an or original idea i actually have a you know a cardboard box uh, from i i don't even know from when and from which brand it was but the same thing that i just used now was written in that so basically i'm just copying their idea but i felt like it was a very important thing and the fact that i saw it and i resonated with it hopefully somebody else might see it too and use it for their own brand or use it for their own delivery or shipment or whatever and that's a win i feel so i don't take credit for the idea but i take credit for using that idea for my own business so yeah so the print out from printo are here so we need to start packing everything up properly Okay. That's the last stretch now. so i'm done packing all the packages so it took a while it was not easy at all like 12 packages took over an hour <sighs> i need to get faster at this anyway i'm just waiting for the delivery people to come to take my shipment and go so this is all of the packaged stuff Ah, it feels so satisfactory to have finished everything in time. So most of my packaging is already sent. There's one that sort of did not go today they say they contacted me but they didn't and now they have been scheduled to the next working day i don't know if it's going to be tomorrow or day after anyway we'll see otherwise it's all done now uh the final thing that i have to do is to send tracking details to all my customers that's the last thing to do but i'll probably do it at night today Ah So my very first batch of orders have been shipped. Now what I'm nervous about is whether they'll actually like my product or not. Cuz until now it's only been about showcasing my product but right now it's going to be a reality. It's going to go to them and they're going to have it, use it. And I'm nervous whether they are actually going to like it or not. and i will soon have a video on questions that you may have about uh having a small business it's a new thing for me but i know that a lot of you may be curious about the whole process because i i remember i was super curious when i started out and i wanted to know anything and everything about it and there wasn't a lot of information uh in india as such so I will have that video soon uh, but until then bye bye